morning, everybody. Uh, just getting ready, getting finished up, getting ready. I'm always getting ready, as you can probably tell by now with these daybreak previews. Uh, heading into the newsroom right now, back on my normal schedule today. So we're kind of like three quarters way back to the normal with your daybreak team. We've got uh, Joe in for Cerise, but you've got Myself, Rusty, and Katie all doing our normal jobs today. Uh, you may remember yesterday, I was the one complaining all day about how bad the uh, stuff was because I was producing. These guys put up with me and say, look, Matt. How's it going? There's Matt. He's, he's our producer, that, uh, or director, that didn't have to mess with all my stuff. This poor guy yesterday, Joey, he had me scared, or I was scared. I had him scared. Oh, it was pretty, pretty touch and go there for a while. How are you feeling to have the normal crew back today? We're going to get back to up to the minute, so... Up to the minute. They they smile, but I don't the think they actually like up. it. <laughs> They're all picking on me now. Yeah, so uh, we'll have eight of those up to the minutes for you between five and seven. Uh, one of the interesting ones I was looking at uh, just a little bit ago, uh, new poll just out from NBC and Wall Street Journal, and they rank... Uh, you know, what's most harmful to your health. And this isn't scientific. This is actually like what you think is most harmful to your health. Number one was tobacco. Number two, alcohol. Number three, sugar. And then number four, pot. So that caught me by surprise. It's probably catching some of you by surprise, too. Uh, a lot of people saying the legalization of marijuana in Colorado has changed opinions on that. Some other stories we're following, there was a car crash overnight. Now, no major injuries in that one. That's the good news. The bad news is the guy who owns one of the trucks that was involved, a 1946 Ford, fully restored. So, oh, yeah, Rusty's that reacting hurts. to that one. That's, uh, that's not your typical farm truck there, Rusty. Did I just hear you giving away one of your stories, too? That wasn't much of a tease. I gave away one of my stories. It's a talker. <laughs> you just, guys can sound off on that, by the way. Let me know what you think. Maybe we'll include that in the story. Is that, is that a good tease for you? There you go. Today, about 10 degrees cooler, and it's a northwest wind today. We just can't shake this pesky wind, so that's what we'll be talking about. And it looks like Sunday morning could get a little iffy with uh, rain changing to snow. Not a lot of it, but could be just enough to affect anything you have going on Sunday morning. We'll talk more about it in a bit. But we want to be talking about Selection Sunday, right? Yes. That's the best part about Sunday. <laughs> the Sunday gets filled on Sunday. You, you don't have to have good weather on Sunday because a lot of the guys are going to want to be inside, you know, maybe having a few brews and uh, checking out how we see our teams go. You know, Nebraska is going to be taking on, I believe, Ohio State tonight. They had the bye week in the Big Ten tournament. They're a beatable team. They've beaten them. What's that? This afternoon. Oh, that's this afternoon, Rusty says. He's he's keeping a closer eye on the Big Ten than I am, which is scary because I'm the Big Ten fan. Uh, you know, Nebraska has done so well lately. They're probably a shoe-in for the tournament, but, you know, they beat Big Ten teams again. Ohio State, they beat them once this year. Uh, that could do gangbusters for their tournament position. Creighton, they just wiped the floor last night in their first game in the Big East tournament. So, all things looking very positive. If you're a Nebraska fan or a Creighton fan this morning, we'll talk more about that and reaction from New York coming up. Daybreak, two and a half hours kicking off right now. Remember, you can always join in on the conversation. By 5 o'clock, you're going to see the Twitter handles, the Facebook pages for all of us. Uh, we've been very active this week, so get involved in the conversation. See you guys in just a bit.